Well, 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 here we are. After many failed attempts, oops, got was due to poor connection. But we got the Wi-Fi and the makeup trailer, and we are rolling. It is 2.15. I have no clue when I have to go to set. Um, I'm the only person here. Let's get my touch-ups going. Hey, love you, Jody Hook. Hey, love you. Um, guys, I'm a little delirious. Uh, might as well be held accountable and put myself on a live feed. Um... Oh, Casey, your doggo says hi. What kind of doggo do you have? I don't imagine that um, I'll get any of this information back in short order. So, guys, I'm pretty new to Instagram stories, um, if you can't tell from my um, constant talking. Um, uh, What am I doing to not stay delirious right now, Lauren Rubenstein? Stein or Steen? Um, This. I'm talking to a bunch of people who are also up. Brielle Lipstein. Oh, my God. Shout out. Major shout out to you. You're my sister. Um, now I know why people do this all the time. Yeah, because I could wish Healy Eden a happy birthday. What am I working on, Aggie Crystal? I'm working on a movie called Secret Society of Second Born Royals, and there's so many, like, spoiler alerts literally behind me and in front of me that it's kind of making me feel a little uncomfortable. Um, it's a little Disney movie, a Disney Plus movie. It's going to be their new streaming service, and I play a uh, uh, prince. I think I could say that. Yeah, prince with, like, some cool things. Ricky's watching Pitch Perfect 2. Someone saw me at the 1975 show the other day. I might have been dancing alone. My sister's totally trolling me, which is great. I would not have it any other way. It's my birthday. And she's like, why is he doing this? And I agree. Um, I don't think that I'm going to quote any of my quotes in Pitch Perfect. Show us what's in my fridge. I don't have a fridge, guys. This is the life of a movie actor. No fridge. Well, I have a fridge in my trailer, but I also don't have internet in my trailer, so. Um, someone just got a hedgehog named Bruce Quillis. That's phenomenal. Brielle's at a dinner. What should she get? Okay, my sister Brielle's at a dinner, and since she's just, like, being silly, um, my sister is very indecisive when it comes to ordering. Um, she always asks what she wants. To me, as if I know. Uh, generally, it's a chicken dish, though. Um, rarely fish. It would have to be really good. Samantha Germano say, hey, this is great. This is just Simone Adler. And this is just, I should just be having a group chat with my sister's friends now. Sing for us. Okay, here we go. This is a song about a girl named Lucky. Early morning, she wakes up. Knock, knock. What's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done? I think you guys just saw it. Um, come hang out in Utah. That would be fun, says Aggie Crystal. It would be fun. I've been to Utah. I really like Utah. Um, I'm drunk. What should I eat? Uh, carbs. Something to sop up the alcohol. Brielle's going to get that buffalo chicken wrap. This is great. I'm, I'm pumped about it. Um, I'm so I'm hungry. Hey, Skylar, what movie that you're in should we all watch? Good question. I really like a movie called Hamlet Two. I was rocking out some merch from it at the Pride in at Pride in L.A. Um, people thought I was just being sacrilegious, but "Rock Me, Sexy Jesus" was the name of one of the songs in Hamlet Two. It had the director of a movie called Dick and the Craft. Um, Amy Poehler's in it. Catherine Keener's in it. Um, I'm in it, Steve Coogan's in it, and it's got a lot of the South Park uh, uh, creatives that did some of the music, so it's really, really irreverent and silly. Um, my sister's being relentless right now. Um, I'm being adored. Want to be in my musical about NorCal? I could see you rocking an energy drink t-shirt. Thank you. Um, hi to Brazil. Have I ever been to Hungary? No. Um, when come Pitch for Perfect 4? I don't know. Not not my decision. Um, 
I'm sure a lot of people would want that to happen in the cast. Um, but we, we're, we're always, people always think we know things. We don't know anything. Um, I know, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if like fans told me. They're like, by the way, you're doing a Pitch Perfect 4. And I'd be like, oh, thanks, fans. Um, I should probably call my agent. Hey, Sav Marty. I really like the Glee episode I did, too. It was really fun. Um, I lucked out. It got to play such a fun role on it. And, um, God, that was so fun. That whole group. I'm still friendly with a lot of those kids, men and women. Um, have I ever been to Chicago? I actually haven't been to favorite, uh, Chicago. Um, my brain is moving too fast for this thing. Favorite Sam Smith song? I like Dancing with a Stranger lately. I really like Pray because he just goes. Um, I like some of those early ones. Stay With Me, but what was the other one? I'm not the only one, but there was another one. You know the one. I do. Next to you. Can I lay by your side? Next to you. Awesome. So good. Riffing up like that? Come on, Samuel. Um... Yeah, I know I'm going to be a Disney prince. I'm so I am being a Disney prince. I'm not in wardrobe, but I will be when they call me at 3 a.m. Um, was my favorite "Lay Me Down"? Exactly, "Lay Me Down." That's the Sam Smith song. But I rather have toes for fingers or fingers for toes. Great question, person who's already scrolled through who I can't acknowledge. Toe, definitely fingers for toes. Yeah, yeah obviously because. Yeah, I'd have like I'd have my hands and I could do things. I wouldn't want toes here. That would be ugly and not as opposable. Like not as like you know I couldn't do so many things. But if I could grab stuff with my feet, like a monkey, or like I do with my hands, that'd be pretty dope. I need to see the Canadian Falls. I know. I hear they're in Niagara. Um, yeah, I know that whole dancing for likes thing. By the way, guys. You know, I, I was having fun with that. Um, my feelings were not hurt. I know that that was the minority of people. Uh, 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 and and, and I, I really bring myself joy first and foremost. But I, I do like bringing other people joy and being a silly goose. Because if you know me, you know I actually do break out into song and dance. Um, it's embarrassing sometimes. For others, not for me. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so I will not album never stop dancing. I just had to explain myself per my choice I didn't actually have to do anything I just felt like it um, because I was probably in a mood like this at 2.30 in the morning on a night shoot what bars have I checked out in Toronto there's a really good tequila bar called I think Reposado Delish um, I like tequila I'm allowed to, to drink it some of you might not be so wait but when you are allowed um, you know develop a taste for it? I don't know why well, this is awful I'm probably giving like advice to maybe some minors is this the time that I get arrested for doing an Instagram live video is this why I've never done this before is because you get held accountable for everything um, am I gay I'm not gay I'm not gay I have so many so many lovely lovely gay friends what question do I hate getting asked the most I don't know, anything with a mean connotation. Anything that's, like, negative. You know what I mean? Like, like, like it's like a question that's not even a question. It's just like an antagonistic statement phrased it as a question. It's like, do you realize that, like, you do this, stupid? And it's like, well, that's not even a question. That's, that's the question I hate the most. Um, hmm. 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 No one said I'm adorable. I don't feel very adorable right now. It's not that I'm upset. I'm just tired. And I feel I feel like I could be doing this better. Um, but I also don't regret it. From Taiwan... Because like, I'm getting a hello from Taiwan right now. And therefore, that's the future. Is that I'm in Toronto in the middle of the woods using the Wi-Fi little router from a hair and makeup trailer and someone saying hi from Taiwan. Future. We're in it. What's my favorite movie? Um, favorites are tough with me. I always said Goodfellas when I was a kid because it was like, whoa, so crazy, 
Ray Liotta, so crazy. Phantoms. All right, I'm going to give Phantoms a special shout out. Phantoms is an amazing group. Um, Vincent and Kyle Kaplan, good friends of mine forever. We made a song in like 2017 um, called Call My Name. Dylan Francis did a really dope remix. I highly suggest Spotifying it, but they are amazing. They, get, they have such a good vibe. They've had Vanessa Hudgens uh, guest on their stuff, Nick Bronze guested on their stuff, but just their stuff on their own is so vibey. It's like Deep House, but then it also gets, it's really fun. Phantoms, so good. Um, Skylar Dowie's your name is my name with my spelling. You're saying hello from Baton Rouge, where we did film the first and second Pitch Perfect. And we all have very, 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 very fond memories of uh, Louisiana, but um, specifically Baton Rouge. Ben Platt and I once went to a Yom Kippur service in Baton Rouge, and they ended the Yom Kippur service with Go Tigers, which, if, for those of you who don't know, that's their college football team, LSU Tigers. And I just thought that that was the coolest thing ever. Um, it was like, everybody have an easy fast and go Tigers. Um, so it's 8 a.m. in Germany. So, so here I am, like, like telling you good morning while I'm dying of, 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 of exhaustion. Um, they quaffed my hair quite a lot on this movie. It looks better with the wardrobe. What's my favorite soup? My mother's matzo ball soup. You can never... I already sang for people, America Castro, and I kind of half sang. I have met and I have worked with Ryan Murphy. Um, oh my God, I would love to do it again. That man is like the king of all things like TV and stuff. And like, he's so great. Um, and he's awesome. Call My Name is still on your musical playlist. I'm so happy because it's a great song. Do I like voicing Branch and DreamWorks? Yes, I do. I sure do. Um, I do it all the time. I just did it... Uh, a couple days ago, actually, I sang a new song, and then I got to do an original episode, and then I got to do ADR, which is when you kind of, like, fix certain things when it's already been animated, and you get to kind of tweak little sounds and stuff. Um, I don't know Kenny Ortega. He's another incredibly talented director. Hidden talent. I must have a hidden talent. Maybe if my sister gets back on this live thing, she'll she'll let us know. Um, ben Platt's performing in London and you can't go and you're very sad and I don't know your name because it's already scrolled up but Ben will be back uh, especially in London that guy is just an absolute tour de force and is like the sky is the limit um, if we all stick around we'll, we'll all hopefully be able to pay top dollar to see Ben Platt um, soon enough um, so I'm sorry you're missing him this time but I'm sure um, I'm sure he'll be back and your paths will cross. Um, I can't juggle. Well, I can juggle like two or three things, but not like juggle, juggle. Also can't whistle. Embarrassing? I think so. Um, did Jesse have a crush on Stacy in Pitch Perfect, the Alexis Snap character? No. Not at all. That was not the story at all we were telling. Um, I'm sure he thought she was a lovely woman. Um... Hmm. What do we got going on? We got a lot of emojis. <laughs> Emma Riley, I'm sorry I'm keeping you awake. Um, I hope you don't have anything important tomorrow. Last concert I went to, um, 1975, so good. And before that, I went to um, Florence and the Machine, so good. So good. And a random Pride concert in L.A., like, so amazing. Sing Acapella. I think you didn't mean to say that, but you kind of nailed it. Um, who do I look? Who do I look you to the most? Hmm. Anna Kendrick is so funny, and it is really fun working with her. She is, um, she's great, and she always has a couple of gems in her in her back pocket. A uh, little improv stuff that is always fun. So yes. Do I like Trump? No. How about that? No, I don't, okay? And I'm not going to make this a political thing, but no, I don't. And, you know? Um, Florence and the Machine, so good. Someone wants me to show uh, around this room, but this is the hair and makeup trailer, and there are a lot of, like, 
pictures and things of things we've shot and continuity things, and I can get in a lot of trouble. So let's do it. No, I'm kidding. We shouldn't. Um, Scotland. I might actually go there soon. Stay woke. Hey, I'm woke. Did we just become best friends? Do I like Greatest Showman? I like Greatest Showman. Fun fact. Ready for this trivia? I've told some people this a while ago. When, um, when before it was like going, going, like it was happening. It was always very happening. Um, for some reason, um, Benj and Justin, the composers wanted to do a demo of the other side, which is a duet between uh, Zac Efron and Hugh Jackman. And so me and Jeremy Jordan did it full on in Hollywood, recorded it. Someone even recorded like video of us recording it, little BTS and I've heard the track. I don't have the track. I can't post the track. Um, but it's good. It's really good. Um, that guy is so good, Jeremy Jordan. His voice is insane, and we blended really well. And we got to sing together, and we've never even done that before. And um, no one's heard it. But that's, I guess, that's like how things work. There's some things that kind of stay behind closed doors. Um, any serious projects soon from Turkey? Asks s someone from Turkey. Um, hi, Daryl. Um, uh, yes, yes. Uh, my show got picked up for NBC called Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and it's so good, and I've seen that too, and I really like that, and you will see that because that, that got picked up now. So that will come out um, hopefully soon. Uh, when we get a date and then we're going to start filming all of season one and um, it's going to be great. We're going to deliver some good stuff. The cast is really good. It's like a dramedy, hour long musical. So good. So, um, oh my God, I loved it so much. I actually can't say a lot, but you'll see it. I know, right, Jess Foster? Me and Jeremy Jordan together singing a duet. It's, 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 it's there. There's someone has it. Someone named Benj Pasek obviously has it. Um, so you can annoy him about it. Um, this is kind of fun. I'm really tired, and it's really helping. Um, hi to Brazil. I've said hi to Brazil, but I'll always say hi to Brazil. I have sang. I have sang. Scroll to the beginning. All right, I'll sing something. I don't... <laughs> don't make me sing. Um, hmm. I was gonna get my phone out, but this is my phone. So what what what's a what's a song I've been listening to? Take a shower. Is that trying to get me naked, or is that saying I'm dirty? I don't know, but thank you. Um, yes, I do get told I look like Dane Cook. No, if not like like high praise, but just like it happens all the time. Um. Daryl wants me to sing. Okay, so Daryl wants me to sing. Daryl was my dresser in New Mexico on a show called Graves. And we did a lot of Bieber then. That was when the Purpose tour was going on. So I don't know any of his verses, though. As long as you love me, I'll be your captain. <laughs> no, it's not captain. I'll be your silver. I'll be your gold. As long as you love me, we could be starving, we could be homeless, we can be broke. As long as you la 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 me. As long as you la 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 me, love me. So late, so thirsty and dry, and so raw which is what you get here on Instagram Live, so I'm not going to apologize for it. Um, I'll be your shoulder. That's not the lines. That's what I should do on my Instagram Lives, by the way. I should just, like, botch songs. My brother Milan does that all the time, and it's so entertaining. Uh, my brother Milan is one of the most amazing people on the planet. He's a sous chef, a rapper, a DJ. A, he's the hot one. And he... Um, he has a random between my sister and I he has like the most random knowledge and library 
of musical theater just because he was around it growing up. So like he will sing Rent songs and just like the Benny verse and it, like the the this uh, I'm sure everyone has a sibling or a mom or a uncle that does that, but it's so funny, so funny. Um, someone's telling me to save this live, and I, I I'm worried. I'm worried. I don't know. Have I said anything bad? I don't generally say things bad, but I'm pretty honest and transparent, so. Good night, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. When will I take the fighter and the kid belt from Theo Vaughn? I like Theo Vaughn. He's a good guy. He's very nice every time we've met. Can I twerk? Can I twerk? <laughs> Can I twerk? Someone just asked me if I could twerk. Let uh, this be your answer. Yes, I can. Uh, where am I at? I've explained this. I'm in Toronto shooting a movie called Secret Society of Secondborn Royals. I love it. It's great. But they're running behind and I'm waiting. Say hi to Canada. Hi, Canada. I'm in you. Um, this town has been going pretty off the chain, by the way. Um, the Raptors in six. It was very exciting. I went to some of the games. Um, come to Peru? Maybe. Maybe. I would love to go to Peru. I think I'm going to do a big, big trip sometime soon. Just don't know where yet. I'm killing me. I'm killing you. You're killing me. But what if, like, legitimately this was killing her? This Instagram Live was just absolutely killing her. Um, Secret Society is not on Netflix. It's going to be on a new Disney streaming service called Disney Plus, which comes out in November. And I don't know when this movie will come out because we're first filming it now, but um, you will definitely know of this streaming service. It's super cool. They have... Um... Oh, hey, I'm getting totally sidetracked. Uh, yes, it's going to be so cool. Disney Plus is so cool, and it'll be out. They have, like, Marvel and t Star Wars. But someone just asked me about my Gen Z stuff that I do with Peyton, who's the lead of the uh, movie I'm doing right now, who's lovely and talented and wonderful. And um, we do this fun thing where we talk to the Gen Z universe. And uh, universe or generation? So tired. Um, and it's fun because cause it's kind of some bones to pick or some good advice or just some like, you know, don't sweat the small stuff type stuff that, you know, only someone over 30 would do. Um, but we talked about, we've been doing this really fun thing on set uh, and I've kind of incorporated it into my personal life. I highly recommend it. Uh, AirPods. Um, you know, you can give one to another person. So what we do is, we'll, you know, one person will put in, the other person will put in, we'll play a song, and just it's like a little inside little thing that just two people from across the room can kind of be dancing with each other. And it's a good way to keep quiet on set but still have a good time and kind of stay in the pocket. Uh, you look a little weird, but um, that's never stopped me from doing anything before. Um, but in this Gen Z video that I had, I was like, hey, Apple or Gen Z or people, you know, of the future, like, let's get this thing going where we can all, someone could hold up a device and be like, hey, sign into this thing that I just titled. It's called like Skylar Tunes or whatever. Everyone hits that Bluetooth. We're all on and like an entire lunchroom of people could be listening to the same song and, um, you know, dance without making that, without making noise. Um, big fan. Um, and guess what? I think that I heard, I don't know about this, I'm not like an Apple spokesperson, but I'm pretty sure in October there's going to be something going. And I'm not saying I'm the guy that did it. I mean, like, crazy timing. But, like, I'm not going to say it's from me. It's totally me. Um, they weren't listening to me. They're totally listening to me. And I shouldn't take credit for it, but I'm taking all the credit for it. Yes, like a silent dance party. How fun is that? I want to do a bit on this where I feel like, like like I freak everyone out feeling like See, that would be kind of fun where they think that like um their internet's weird. Jersey is awesome. <laughs> Oh my god, Anna Mastro, my director, they're listening to me, they're watching this. Can I go to set soon? Can I leave? I know we're supposed to be done soon here. I do watch The King and the Sting and it's very good. Um, hablo Espanol un poquito. This 
this is kind of fun. I can't wait to do this when I'm not a zombie. I, I always used to see Rachel Bloom doing this. Almost like she's talking to her phone again. But she's the best, and she clearly knows what she's doing. And it's clearly a little fun. Especially when you're nice. Like, don't be a dick, you know what I mean? Oops, first curse. Lin-Manuel. Will, I with, will you with Lin-Manuel is the question. Will I what with Lin-Manuel? I would do a lot of things with Lin-Manuel. A lot of roles, a lot of plays, a lot of lunches. But careful, you know what I mean? I'd do anything with Lin-Manuel. Um, do I ship Jekka? Yeah, that's the narrative of the film. <laughs> so I think I do. I do. I do. I'm a, um, I think that's what, that's what it was supposed to be. I mean, there might be some other subtle things going on underneath, and there's like a whole universe that's been tapped into, of course. Um, but I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. I'll just say that I played Jesse in the franchise. I loved my time, and I loved committing to the scenes where Jesse and Becca have a romance and that was what was written. And fun fact. Ready for this tea? Oops. Just spilled some. Pitch Perfect 2. Wonderful movie. Had a very, very big... Um, I feel like now, legally, I could say this now that it's been 75 years. Um, a very awesome Jesse and Becca uh, uh, storyline that got uh, removed from the final edit. Uh, Elizabeth... Banks told me why at one point. I, th I think it was, I, I don't remember the exact reason because um, I know it came out really well and I know it felt really good when we filmed it. But that's kind of the reason why Jesse goes away for a lot of Pitch Perfect 2 and they ha kind of had to like uh, keep, him, keep him away from um, Becca. Uh, and that's why he comes back at the end. But it's not as impactful maybe because we didn't set it up that he's going. Um, somewhere, but uh, in the initial script that we filmed, uh, Jesse goes off to USC. He graduates early, and there's a lot of really nice back hands, back, like back um, endings of scenes that were kind of cut off. Where we talk about how I have to leave, and then there's like the actual scene where he leaves, and we shot it in the snow. Um, we shot it in the Baton Rouge summer where I had back sweat, but we had like, we faked the winter and there was snow, a lot of production value. Um, I remember there was a scene where Anna Kendrick's character gives me a um, E.T. It's like a sweet little like, here, I thought you'd like this movie. It's about an alien. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know that movie. Um, and it's super sweet. And it was really reminiscent of the first movie. And I, and I, and I wonder where those scenes are. Um, Gosh, there's so many. I always wonder, like, where those things go. But it was really great, and it was lifted um, conveniently just to make room for a lot of the other storylines. Uh, and um, that's kind of why Jesse goes away a little bit. Like, he's, like, kind of in the riff off, but doesn't really have a moment. They were kind of like, we were, fa they were, like, fading him out of the story, you know, um, so that he can leave. Um, but had we just kind of filmed the version that ended up being there, I probably could have been in more of the movie or, you know, stuff like that, but hindsight being, you know, 2020, I think the movie turned out pretty great. Um, let's see. My director is texting me. Um, but I, that'll take me off this thing. And they have people that will get me. So I know I'm not needed because they know where I am. The whole world knows where I am. Um, drop the skincare routine. I wash my face. Don't worry, I make up for it with like a million cowlicks here that the brilliant wizards here figure out how to kind of brush through. Uh, what is this pitch perfect for? Guys, I don't, I don't know anything. I don't know anything, guys. I never know anything. I would sit with you guys and just wait and be like, I don't know. Um, oh, wow. I've just been totally called out for having a... V is 377 people... Is that, like, very little? Seems like it. It's also late. So person who just gave me that jab, relax. Like, I think I'll post this tomorrow. And, like, I don't know how this works at all. I might regret it and then delete it. Felt cute, might delete. Hey, Mr. Lipstein. Hey, that's my name. That's my real name. 
It's my last name. Me and Ben need to star in a Broadway show. End of story. Tell me about it. Tell us about it. We've been both at least saying it for 10 years. Um, it will happen. Um, God. When Ben and I collaborate on something, whether it's a movie or a song or a, a Broadway thing, theater, maybe even like not singing. I know that that's like not the typical idea, but even like something where we're just acting our faces off, playing brothers or a couple or something, some you know something i want to get i want to get in in it with that guy because we 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 connect so well in every other way i can't imagine how deep we can go Be kind of thrilling um i haven't been on fighter and the kid in a while i've been busy and they are obviously busy um i will come back and i will come back hard and i'll get that belt don't worry it's not even a question. I, I gave 2018. I didn't even go on if people um, know what I'm talking about. I didn't even go on the podcast this year because I was like, uh, I don't know. But I, I mean, I was just busy, but I mean, I didn't like, I was kind of like, yeah, let someone else. I don't win. You know, the comedians win. It's like comedians do that. And everyone's funny. But I got, don't worry. Next time I come to Fighter and the Kid, it's going to happen. Do I catch up with the other Pitch Perfect cast? Yes, I do. We all talk. We all hang. Can I sing a bit? I just sang. Should I do more Justin Bieber? We can move on. We can move on to... What's that one Ed Sheeran song? Why am I 80 at this hour? I can't remember anything. It's like, what's that one Ed Sheeran song? Who, what's that one? Not The Shape of You. And not Castle on the Hill. It's, on the it's like on my Spotify, but I can't get out of this. So I guess we'll have to not do Ed Sheeran. Um, sing the Jonas Brothers. No. Um, photograph. It is photograph, Casey Garcia. But how does it go again? Because now I'm thinking Jamie Cullum's photograph, which is not the same. Photograph. How does photograph go? I like... Oh, shit. It's the ten minute. Get ten minute. Well, already when you are, but this is the ten minute warning, essentially. Guys... I have really bad news. Hey, what's do you know the song Ed Sheeran photograph? Oh, I know the name, but I can't remember the tune. Or what's a good Ed Sheeran song? But not the one that's like the wedding song. You look perfect tonight. Good song, but you know, we all Everyone we've all that. we've all done it. But there's one I'm in love with the shape of you. But there's another one that's really good that I'll have to save for my next one. We made these memories. We made these memories for ourselves. That's right. And our eyes are ever open. And our thoughts are never open. And our thoughts are never open still. I'm going to get dressed. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans. In the dark and you can touch me. You will never be alone. Wait for me to come home. Shh, it's gonna be okay. All right, guys, this has been it. This is it. This is it for now. Um, I gotta go to set. I gotta do a thing. I gotta do the whole thing now. I gotta do the thing for, for the cameras. Um, and wear clothes that I'm not allowed to post. How do I sign this off? Oh, I know. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into my Instagram Live. It was a first for me. I think I'm going to leave it up. Um, I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure someone will show me. Someone much younger on set will show me. Um, but, you know, I've been Skylar. So...